Hi guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to do something I forgot about last episode and finally start taking samples from other planets because apparently there are loads of science points to gain from that. However, we did spend a lot of time in space during our last adventure so we should really start completing our contracts before the deadlines come. Oh god, the deadlines are 9 years from now? Okay, maybe we do not need to complete these contracts. But I remember there being a contract which asked me to create a moon base and the payout on that contract was just astronomical. Explore the moon, I already did that, why is this here? Oh, rendezvous two vessels and dock two vessels? Yeah, actually, no, thank you. Oh, but look at this one. Position a satellite in a specific orbit of Minmus. I do need to do this one. Because right now I have a rover there with no signal whatsoever because its antenna broke with the slightest touch. Wait, and after I position the satellite, can't I just do this mission as well like immediately because as soon as i decouple the satellite those will be two different vessels they will be immediately rendezvoused and all i need to do with them is just dock them to complete this contract all right you know what we're doing these two and not only that i'm also going to land on minmet and finally take that shiny stone i wanted so let's get to the exciting part, those 680 science points are not going to spend themselves, will they? Now even though I don't really want these two, I think I'm going to grab these two remaining 90 research point researches. Oh, this one has an XL parachute, okay, maybe I do want this one, so thank you, and yeah, grab this one as well. That's going to leave us with 500 science points, which we can spend on three of these? So right here we immediately have something which looks absolutely beautiful with the main sail liquid fuel engine which has a thrust of 1379 kilonewtons! Oh my god, how much fuel does this thing eat? Yep. Yep, that's, that's a lot of fuel right there. A monster of an engine for heavy lifting purposes, the main sails power rivals that of entire small nations. How could I say no to such power, give me that. Precision propulsion, now do I need this? These are just weak engines, aren't they? Oh, dumpling external tank and a donut external tank. Why are all of these named after foods? We also have the baguette external tank. Okay, no, you can't persuade me with cute names of fuel tanks. Next. Advanced fuel systems have adapters, bigger fuel tanks, and that's about it. Is this, Oh, this one is an RCS fuel tank. There it is. I was looking for that. But probably not. Next. Advanced nose cones, protective shells, ground anchors, more stack separators, modular girder adapter, ooh la la, stack bicoupler, radial attachment point, a, a flag here, specialized construction, flags. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows that to create a giant piece of fabric you need to have intricate weaving machinery, otherwise the flag will just implode. Yeah, not a fan of the specialized construction. What about this? Oh, supersonic flight! Oh, maybe count me in, actually. Panther afterburning turbo fan. Max thrust Mach 1.8. Oh, oh, maybe, Panther. Ju just maybe, actually. Advanced aerodynamics. Air brakes. What? Research into feasible ways to slow down a plate in mid-air showed that loose hull panels are pretty great as drag inducing deceleration devices. The discovery led to the invention of the aerodynamically integrated retrograde braking robustly armed kinetic extending system, or air brakes for short, which is now popular mostly as a cheap alternative to longer runways. C7 engineers are still trying to come up with a shorter name for such a long acronym. Yeah, that's a pretty hard feat, actually. Yeah, that reminds me, I still haven't landed a jet properly, did I? But in my defense, it's really, really hard. Grass just wants to explode everything. Specialized control. CHJ3 flyby wire avionics hub. Excuse me, what the hell is that contraption? Wait, anomaly detection? Is that a scanner? That's a scanner! Oh my god, that's actually a scanner! You're kidding, I need that, I need that, absolutely! It... it provides stability assist? What in the... Is this a probe part? 
Have you ever wanted to impress your peers by showing off your elite flying skills but lack the skills to become a trained pilot? Yeah, maybe it actually is a probe part. C7 Aerospace's fly-by-wire avionics hub is the solution. This module allows even the most minimally trained crew to fly like an ace. Warning, this module cannot operate autonomously. Okay, maybe it's not a probe part. <laughs> Warranty. Void if attempting to do so. Warnings. A second warning? Module contains no internal gyroscopes or control systems. <laughs> control actuators sold separately. Warning. Warranty void without proper use of C7 Aerospace brand sickness packs. Also sold separately. Currently out of stock. Oh no, poor Rogan won't be able to vomit in a bag. Actually, considering this can detect anomalies, I would really, really, I mean, really like to take this. I want to check out some anomalies. We also get an advanced reaction wheel module, a large one, Stratus V cylindrified monopropellant tank, all right, and a Werner engine. What's a Werner engine? These motors are linked to RCS controls, but are powered by a fuel oxidizer mix. Okay, yeah, specialized control, I'm grabbing you with me. So let's pick our last upgrade, shall we? Command modules, a cupola module. Ah, too bad that Moonbase contract is not there anymore. Mark 1 to 3 command pod, lander can and service bay. Yeah, this would really come in handy if I was making that moon base, but I'm unfortunately not. Advanced exploration, a container module. Wait, capable of storing a wide variety of equipment. Oh, this is a proper container module. <laughs> Another cargo storage unit. Jesus Christ, 2,500 liters. When you want to bring everything and the kitchen sink, this is the storage unit for you. I agree, that's a lot of liters right there. Mobile, mobile processing lab. More science points, more science points. I think I'm grabbing this one. And mobility enhancer, aka ladders. You know what, what are these ones? Precision engineering, advanced electrics. Is there something here? Just, just quick check. The couplers, not Rocomax Micronaut. What the hell? No, 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 I I'm grabbing this one. I'm grabbing this one mainly because it has the mobile processing lab. That's just more science points. Give me that, it's going to pay for itself. So we got our new toys, let's go build a rocket. Wait, am I this freaking stupid? <laughs> I, I confused the moon with Minmus. I'm supposed to place a satellite in a specific orbit of Minmus, but I'm supposed to rendezvous two vessels in orbit of the moon. But I think there is a satellite orbiting the moon. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, look at that Lunar Probe Pro Max Ultra Satellite. How big is it? I should be able to rendezvous with this. Yeah, it's basically just a tube, and a tube can be easily anchored onto with a Claw Junior. So the plan is, get to Minmus, place a satellite in an orbit of Minmus, grab a shiny rock, go to the moon, rendezvous with the probe orbiting moon, and then get back home safely without any casualties. Maybe if we're left with enough fuel, I can also land on the moon and grab a shiny rock from the moon, but that's a big maybe. However, I would definitely not mind doing that. So I believe we should be able to reuse the Minmus Conquer, or what was it called? Yeah, Minmus Conquer, here it is. In all its glory, a big, thick rocket. So we did get that new engine. How big is this? Here we go. Wait, is it? Is it as big as this? It's as big as the skipper, but it has twi more than twice its thrust. What the hell? It's also twice as heavy, but how much goddamn fuel does it eat? The skipper eats almost 20 and mainsail eats a bit more than twice as much. What the hell? Give me that. Okay, you know what? I am doing it for the efficiency. We are leaving the skippers behind. Give me the mainsail engines. Oh, look at those. These ones actually look... Kinda high-tech, like proper rocket parts. Jesus Christ, look at those! It has that shiny tin foil and everything! So considering the top of the rocket, away it goes. Wait, then I can also grab Tanley with me, can't I? Just, it's just more money. Also, can't I swap this heat shield for a bigger one? Last time my lander can started burning. Here they are, heat shields, two and a half meter. Oh yeah, that's a big dish. No, that, that's a bit too big in my opinion. Nope, I'm going to stick with the smaller one. So considering the probe, it has to have a thermometer and a science junior. No, that thing is thick. 
And so down here should go the advanced grabbing unit junior. Please tell me I can... I cannot place anything on top of it. Shit, how am I supposed to do this? I can place it on the side here, but that's definitely not a good idea. That's a horrible idea. Okay, you know what? I don't like doing that, but screw the docking contract. We're going to do it next time. I have absolutely no idea where I should put the advanced grabbing unit junior. I could theoretically place it here, then grab an engineer with me, and then engineer the claw on top of the vessel once this part is gone. Did I by any chance grab that cargo research? Uh, I did. I did. Okay, this one has volume of 650, and it is the right girth. Okay, you know what? You know what? Yeah, let's place this here. Put this container module down here. I would have to grab a one more lander can. There we go, but that doesn't really matter. We did get those powerful engines after all. And if I really, really want this to succeed, I can just place three of these thick-ass cylinders down here. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh my god! What the hell is this thick fuck? When Jeb asked Kerbodyne how to lift his house into space, this is what they came up with. The Thoroughbred is a truly massive solid rocket fuel booster. It is also the first booster Kerbodyne has managed to add thrust vector control to, adding surprising agility to this powerful motor. It does cost 9000! But do you know what? Let's try it out. Hopefully this tiny, tiny decoupler is able to hold on to this absolute unit of a solid fuel booster. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this one is massive. So if I add all these stages together, we get to 3195 Delta V. I do love to see that. Well, can't forget to grab this advanced grabbing unit, Junior. Here, cargo, so I can, I can place it here. Yes. And considering this container module has so much room in it, I can also place an antenna in there. I can also place experiments in there so they won't produce any drag. Why is it black? Why is this black as well? What? It's... Uh, why is it black? Um... Okay, I won't question it. Wait, then I should also grab that new experiment part, but why isn't it here? What happened to it? Where is it? Payload, aerodynamics, ground, thermal? Where the hell is it? I researched it, didn't I? Hello, R&D department, have you been slacking off? This one, mobile processing lab. What, what's wrong with it? Mobile pro, where, was I that blind? Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? It's not here. It's, hey, that wasn't here before. <laughs> You saw that! I saw that as well! I wasn't hallucinating! It wasn't here before! Okay, there you go! Now it's here! But to be honest, I do not really like how tall is this thing becoming. Oh, and this one is thick! Oh god, this is thick! It's too thick! Jesus Christ! I don't wanna take something this thick with me! Wait, but this one has crew capacity! Okay! Since it has crew capacity, I can just leave two of these lander cans behind and substitute them for this. Oh, and look at that LT1 landing struts. How big are they? Because I think I'm going to have to land on Minmus with this stage. They aren't that big. What? They are... Okay, they are definitely bigger than micro landing struts. All right, I have no idea how effective this might be, but let's try it out. Hopefully they are taller than the pool liquid fuel engine itself is. Wait, I just realized I can't leave the lab in space. I have my people there. This also serves as a crew cabin. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so no decoupler here. Good that I managed to realize that. There, we at least managed to find a use for that two and a half meter wide heat shield. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. The packed volume on the XL parachute is 1,100 liters. Just how big is this? Think, oh, come on, this can definitely not fit in there. Yeah, definitely not. Oh god, so where am I going to put this? I think to be able to safely land with this giant hunk of iron, I need a big parachute. Oh god, this is hard. Can't I put it up here on the tip? Well, it's a big tip now, but 
No, this definitely does not work. Oh, it's again one of these parts, come on. Okay, so this one's fully deployed effective diameter is 20 meters probably. And this one's fully deployed effective diameter is 51.2. So about two and a half more than the Mark 16 parachute. What about the radial mount parachute? What, this one has such a big effective diameter? What? Excuse me? Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to grab like six of these radial mount parachutes and hopefully land safely with those on me. Let's also grab these drogue chutes, but considering the drogue chutes are smaller, their packed volume is just 12 liters, I'm going to place them over here. There. And now it's all filled up with crap. All right, so let's grab Bourbon so he can level up more. I'm still going to grab Wildas. I don't like splitting Rogan and Wildas duo apart. I would take Parlorf, but look at that. Vessel Science Return and Part Science Return is only 105% for her, but it's 110 for Wildas. I, I have to take Wildas, I'm sorry. You know what, yeah, let's grab Rogan. There you go, I'm not splitting the duo. Grab the Liability who wants to see the moon and also grab Dukan, our lovely, lovely engineer. And I also wanted to grab this one, the Flyby Wire Avionics Hub. Uh, oh, should I grab that right now? No, let's keep this for the next episode. There you go. A nice, tall rocket. Perfect for landing on the mountainous Minmus. <laughs> Oh, hopefully, hopefully if we land on those lake beds, this thing will be able to stand straight. Okay, anything else I forgot? I don't think so. All right, so I guess let's launch this thing. Please don't blow up. Actually, please don't blow up. This thing is absolutely massive. Oh, look how dangly you are. I don't like that. Oh God, okay, let's try this out then. SAS, Z, and up. Oh god, this is accelerating quickly. No, no, slow down a little bit. And also let's, yeah, let's start doing the gravity turn already. There you go. Okay, this is looking great. Why do you have three jets? What, why? Wasn't one enough? Okay, come on. Slow and steady. Jesus Christ, this thing is weakly. No, 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 don't lose control. No, <laughs> stop it, ass weakly rocket. No, 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 up, up. We are going up, prograde. Rogan, go prograde. No, move this thing, prograde. No. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, second try. Wait, I just realized I forgot the experiment storage unit. This thing is going to be even taller. Ah. <sighs> There you go, <laughs> enjoy your tallness. All right, let's try doing the gravity turn a bit slower this time, here we go. If we just do it slowly, nothing is going to uh, go wrong. No, no, this is hard, oh no, it's already spinning. Spin it back, spin it back. We, we don't have to spin it like that, no. No one wants to get spinned like that, come on, up. Up, yeah, no, 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 out of control, rocket, no, 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 X, X, Jesus Christ, up, up, come on, Rogan, prograde, why is it so goddamn bendy, no? Okay, one last try, after this I'm putting struts on this thing, wait, wait, revert to launch, I wanted to see if I can do something over here with the, why is the loading screen exploding? I want to see if I can do something with the mobile processing lab over here. Transmit? Transmit science? Okay, start research? Oh, this is how it bloody works. This is for space stations! Oh, god damn it! Okay, you know what? Why the hell not? Let's keep it like this. Is it eating? Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. How much electric charge are you eating? Five units per second? Are you crazy? No, wait till we're in space, okay? Yeah, go up. Okay, there you go. Slow and steady. We do not have to be doing the gravity turn. We can just keep going up. And with Rogan's help, we will be going up. There you go. Isn't this nice? Yeah, everything is going absolutely right. 
Okay, there we go. There is not much atmosphere over here. So let's start doing the gravity turn. Okay, Rogan, let me do the gravity turn. Thank you. There we go. This is going quite nicely. Thank you and goodbye. Are, did you decouple correctly? Yes, you did. Thank God. Now go away. Jesus Christ, this orbit is widening so bloody fast. I like them. I, I actually like those engines. They are expensive, but they are some seriously good engines. All right, there's our orbit. So our first stop is Minimus. That's the moon. Minimus. Here it is. To be honest, I kind of doubt the fuel is going to hold out for the moon landing after the Minmas landing, but we'll see. Oh, look at that! The Lunar Probe Pro Max Theta is going to visit us pretty soon. I guess it did a full revolution around the sun already. And the Lunar Probe Pro Max is over here. God damn. All right, so that's our wonderful orbit right there. And I'm left with less than 500 Delta V. Jesus Christ. I also have to fix this orbit as well. Slowly and steadily fix the... Stop it, sticky keys! No, 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 no. Okay, everything is working. And plop. That's good enough. I say that's good enough. X. All right, so now it's just trial and error with the maneuver notes to try getting to Minmus. And actually, right now I'm going to be flying in space for a few months at least. So let's try using this, what's it called? Mobile Processing Lab. It does eat a lot of electricity, but I did bring quite a lot of solar panels. Uh, Dukan, where are you? Here you are. EVA, please. And don't fly... Do, do, do not fly off into the abyss. That right there, that's an abyss. You don't want to fly into the abyss, okay? All right, so with Duke and holding on to the ship firmly, let's put some solar panels on this thing. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't matter that it's intersecting with the mobility enhancers, but as long as the game is fine with it, I'm fine with it. And here, and here. And that's all of my solar panels. I don't know how much electricity we're making. Let's also place this somewhere. Here is probably fine. There we go. The experiments, sure, why not? Just place them somewhere. So, Dukan, you can go back inside. Thank you for your assistance. I appreciate that. So now we are making... I still don't know how much electric charge we're making. Let's start a research here. Level up crew? With no connection available to send reports back home. That's all right. Here you go. Extend antenna. Now you can do that. What's level up crew? No astronauts on board are ready to gain experience. What? So if you have more experienced researchers, you can just have them teach other people? Am I getting that correctly? Because if so, that's that's pretty awesome in my opinion. So it is still saying that we are getting zero science per day. Come on, why is that? Do I have to like log pressure data? Here you process in the lab. Excuse me. What? One hundred and ten science. Um. Okay. What in the? Yeah, now we're getting science. What about this? Log temperature. I can get 75 signs if I process it in the lab. What the absolute also... Yeah, do the mystery goo, please. Yeah, 95. Thank you. Do that. What the hell? That is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. Can you also process uh, crew reports? I don't think you would be able to, but there you go. <laughs> you can! What the hell? You can! That's awesome! Yeah, place that in there. That's wonderful. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. What the hell? Can I do something else? Come on. Oh, right. I can. I absolutely can. Ooh, Rogan, Tanley, no. Wildas. EVA. Yeah, you, you go EVA. Do not. What the hell are you? No, just do an EVA report. Keep the experiment. Uh, go back inside, please. And... How were you holding on to that rocket? I don't think that's how they were teaching it to you. I swear, Rogan is a horrible influence on everyone. And so now, can I also process that EVA report we got? Is it somewhere over here? Transmit? Review data. Yes, I can. Oh my god. Yes. 
Yes, so much bloody science points are going to be generated. I love it. Finally, we can spend all this time when we are just flying through space doing something useful. That's great. I don't think we can do anything else. Our Wildus has that EVA science kit, but we can use it only once we land on Minmus. I think we will be able to land on Minmus. We still have these engines, even though the game is not telling me how much Delta V is in them. I, I think they're going to be working just fine. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So now that Wildus is doing something meaningful with her free time, let's go plot a route to Minmus. There we go, I got it. I bloody got it already. We're going to be in space for just 18 days. Wait, really just 18 days? Come on. I thought we're going to be rotting here for longer. Okay, this is going to be a pretty quick trip actually. Wait, and so where is that orbit around the Minmas where I'm supposed to position the satellite? I can't see anything. Where, where the hell is it? Okay, you know what? I'm going to save and I'll go check the tracking station if I can't see something there. Yeah, this one. Can't you show me this one? Position satellite in a specific orbit of Minmus. I'm not going crazy. It's supposed to be Minmus. I mean, is it just not graphically showing me the orbit? If so, that's bullshit. I think it's just that. It's not showing me the orbit. But that's horrible. You want me to calculate all of these things myself? No! I mean, I already have the satellite. I'm going to place it on Minmus's orbit anyway. But I'm not going to get any money for that! What kind of bullshit is that? No! Why do you have to be so bloody cruel? I haven't done anything to you. Wait, why are we losing power? No, 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 no. Why are we losing power? No, come on. Come on, could you? Hibernation. On. Are we still losing power? We are? What the hell? I don't have any more of these solar panels. No, come on, can't you just tone it down a little? Maybe turn some lights off or something? I don't have more things. I don't have more power. What if I retract the antenna? Yes, I'm still losing power. God damn it. I thought I would be able to get some of that sweet, sexy science. But no, it just needs so much electricity. Come on, really? Can't I shut something down? Something I'm not using? What am I not using? Oh, I did have one more experiment I could just process in the processing lab. Yes, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. 235. <laughs> yeah, let's just place it in here. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? After I'm done with Minmus, I'm not going to go straight back to Kerbin. I'm just going to orbit Kerbin and then have someone bring me more solar panels. That someone being Ber... What's his name? Bourbon? Yes, his name is Bourbon. I could actually start using it as a space station, actually. That might not be such a bad idea. Well, for now, destination Minmus. Slow and steady. This has to be perfect. Uh, did I do good? Please tell me. Please tell me. Come on. Where are we? Where are we going to be? What is that? Okay, this is actually fine. Minmus is going to slow me down. Great. There we go. This is not ideal, but it is also not as bad as I expected. There we... Oh, now I can see the orbit! Oh, how lovely! Why would you show it to me only now, you sack of shit? And... Come on. Come on, do it. Uh, am I... Am I doing it? Am I, I am. Great, I am. What is this wiggling line? Th that's scary. Actually, since we're in Minmus' orbit, let's do more experiments and place them inside of this beautiful thing. So, look, pressure data. 190 after processing! <laughs> Yes! Yes, actually, yes! What about the thermometer? Lock temperature, 125! Yes! Yes, absolutely, yes! Rogan, would you like to tell me how you're feeling? Your your feelings matter today, actually. They, they give me science points. Thank you, 80 science points! That's not bad, Rogan. Good job, good job! I'm not letting you outside, though. No, 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 That that's Wildus' job. Please hold on to the... No? Okay, let's do this quick. EVA report. Yes, keep the experiment. Go back inside. There we go, 125. Now those are science points. So can I actually see my ascending and descending nodes? 
Why aren't you showing them to me? Why are you stingy with them? And... Come on, X. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Please tell me you're okay with the deviation. It's not going to get better. I'll just mess it up. Reach the designated orbit around minimus within marginal deviation. What's the marginal deviation? <laughs> Come on, tell me. I have it on my rocket. I just have to deploy it. But please tell me if it's okay. Should I just deploy it? Should I actually just deploy it? Yeah, you know what? Let's just deploy it. Where is the decoupler? Is it down here? Yep. D. No. This first. Extend the antenna. And that's okay. Close the doors. There you go. I don't know if the contractor is going to be happy that I used the Science Junior already and that it's basically useless right now. But that's their problem. Decouple. I did lower the impact of the decoupler. So that's why this didn't fly off so rapidly, which is great, because that means the orbit shouldn't have changed that much. Uh, what was the... this one? Yeah, this one. Great. Please. Please. That, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That, that's not it. <laughs> Come on! You're telling me this deviation is... is that bad? No, it's not, you sack of shit. This is okay! This is okay! Why? <laughs> this contractor is an absolute sack of shit. You have to admit, that that's bullshit. This orbit is fine. It's absolutely fine. It doesn't need to be precise. I can't do such precise movements around Minmas. The gravity is so goddamn low here. It has a thermometer. It has a science junior. I maintain the stability, I built a new unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. The probe has been fully assembled when launched. And here it is. <laughs> here it is, what more do you want? Okay, you know what, if you don't want this antenna, I'm going to use it, because I do have that rover on Minmus, which doesn't have any signal, but now it does, because now I have a probe right there. <sighs> okay, screw that contractor, let's just land on Minmus and drown my sorrows in the shiny rocks. So, first node, second node. So now, let's do this, let's land and grab our shiny stone. Here is our small inline reaction <laughs> wheel. Why is it called that way? Come on! You could have named it differently instead of that bullshit. Okay. And... Uh, zero! Almost. 1.8. That's kinda zero. Where are we going to land? Here. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you. Retrograde and it's time to land. Wait, why is this over here? Oh god, no! This goes... Up here, Jesus Christ, the rocket has been incorrectly staged. I could have just had another stranded group on Minmus. Well, they would have just died, probably. Just smashed on the Minmus' surface. Dead. Immediately. Why are you so happy, Wildas? You have already seen Minmus. That, that's nothing new. And gone. Now just swing it. And away it flies! Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. I don't have the landing struts now, but hopefully the Terrier liquid fuel engines are going to serve as struts. I don't have any other choice. There we go! It's finally showing me! 2742! <laughs> delta V, now that's a lot of Delta V. I love to see that. Thank you. How fast will we decelerate? Extremely fast. Let's time warp. We can't time warp, not even this one. Guess I'm waiting. Great. Okay, here we go. 500 meters. Slow down. Slow down faster. Oh no, shut up. Shut up. Okay, here we go. This is fine. This is fine. I just have to regulate. Regulate. There we go. We're going to survive. No doubt about that. Here we go. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly, like two meters per second. Slowly, come on, come on, maybe even slower. I don't care, as slow as humanly possible. Like last time, last time was okay. Last time was perfect. Shut up, shut up, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Who likes hearing those things? I don't. <sighs> We're here, we're safely here. Thank you, Rogan. Uh, 
Tally, isn't this better than the moon? <laughs> do you still want to go to the moon? <laughs> well, I think I do have enough Delta V for the moon. So I guess that's okay. Okay, okay, let's do this. Where are you, Wildas? Yeah, you, EVA. We came here for the shiny stone. We came here for the shiny stone. Let's go. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Grab one. I don't care. Grab one. Where is it? Where is it? Take surface sample. Here it is. 150 science. The surface seems to consist of tiny crystalline grains. Yeah, shiny. Very pretty, but probably not edible. Will this? <laughs> Will this, I mean, rocks are technically edible. You're not going to, like, digest them, but... If you have such strong urges, you technically can. However, I do not advise it. Let's just just keep it in your pocket, okay? Just resist. <laughs> resist, Wilders. You can do it. Also, EVA report here? Yeah, of course, EVA report here. Th those are just more data I can use. I can use them here in the mobile processing lab. Oh my god, oh my god, that is going to be beautiful. You know what, just toggle the RCS. There, just stuff everything into the mobile processing lab. Here is a review data. This one. <laughs> I didn't expect that, Jesus Christ. How much? 10,030? 10,030? Oh god! Oh god, yeah, by all means, stuff it in there! Jesus Christ, but that's my experiment gone, right? I should grab a duplicate. Okay, so we can stuff the other shiny stone in the experiment storage unit. Yes, beautiful! This stays here, thank you very much. Also, I grabbed those EVA science kit. You also want to do that, Wildus, definitely. Wildus, uh, this is Wildus, there you go. No parachute for you, and uh, this goes here. Jesus Christ, that, that's so many tabs. Go away, <laughs> go away, dammit, thank you. So, Wildus, please, please do your thing. Let go normally, let go normally like a civilized person. You're a scientist. Yeah, I say that you're a scientist, but you're about to play bloody golf! Huh, just do it! EVA this, this perform, per, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> perform EVA science, do it! Wait, this flavor text continued? As the ball arcs off into the distance, you observe the ballet of physics between the applied impulse and the body's gravity. Our scientists will rejoice at the results and hopefully agree that the six iron <laughs> was a great <laughs> club selection. Yeah, yeah, Wildas definitely knows what she's doing. She's the champ. Oh lord, and tell me how many science points can you actually extract from this? <laughs> it's 860. Yes, by all means, do just that. Jimmy Christmas, what the hell? I actually really do appreciate this ship part, this mobile processing lab, MPL LG. Two, it's just wonderful. I'm in love with it. It's it's my new baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you me for choosing to research it. And so considering all the things we've stuffed in there, we are going to be getting 5.3 science per day when this thing is going to be researching. That's a lot. So unfortunately, that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment or subscribe. Every little bit helps my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.